something's not right. I know what it is. <laughs> That's better. There you are. <sighs> Everybody, and welcome the yo yo bloody ho to this audio files on Weihnachten. Um, my name's John, his name's Andy, and uh, I'm no good at chatting up, and I always get rebuffed. I love to drive and man to drink, I don't do no washing up, I always leave the stuff piled up, piled up in the sink. More on that another time. But first, we have a Christmas track to listen to. Andy, what have you got for us? Well, it's, it's Christmas Eve, and I think in the spirit of giving and receiving, you should uh, have a gift there for me, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, um, that's right. Mistakably, it's from you. Of course. <laughs> I shall have a look inside. What the hell is this? Uh that's you, that's you got that's the, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Small Wait, town. Where's small where's the animal that left that? <laughs> Just dust. <laughs> <laughs> Damn that postal that's, service took some time. That's the US customs of a bitch. <laughs> small town titans. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Yes, yes. I would like you <laughs> to go off and give the song that you're probably familiar with a listen by a band that I don't think you are familiar with. So, Okay. Yeah. Will do. Christmas came early. Yeah, lucky me. <laughs> You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus and as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black pea. Okay, so I'm familiar with this song. Not one of my favorites. Um, and it's kind of like a show tune. Um, and what they're doing is obviously they're kind of semi sending it up. They're quite camping it up as well. And he is giving a performance which is totally suitable to this song. And it does it's not my thing at all um yeah the sort of over the topness of it um, you can see why they do it and it's you know it's what the song calls for and it's the sort of thing that i just really don't like 
So there you go. And he knows this. But for what they're doing, he's doing a good job. He has got a decent voice. Um, it's kind of straying a bit into sort of Jack Black territory, really, for me. <laughs> um, but there you go. You're a fire one, Mr. Grinch. You got termites in your smile. You have all the tender sweetness of a season. Well, given the choice between the two of you, I would take the... Seasick Crocodile! Yeah. Unwashed socks and your soul is full of gunk, Mr. Grinch. The three best words I would use to describe you are as follows, and I quote Stag! Stag! Okay, yeah, so for what it was, I think that was a fairly good version. They really hammed it up um, to dramatic, silly voices, um, character, I suppose you'd call it. Um, but yeah, for what it was, they did a really good job. I thought the mu musically it was a bit sort of one dimensional. Um, but yeah, not my cup of tea at all. So, yeah, I imagine there are many, many, many people who would really enjoy that and see it as kind of radical. But I'm not one of them. Right, let's go back to Andy and hold him. <laughs> <laughs> so you have returned. Uh, what say you of this uh, of this old classic uh, given uh, new life by the Small Town Titans? Well, um, I have to say, hang on, something's not right. I know what it is. <laughs> That's better. There you are. So, as you full well know, as a show tune, this was never going to be my cup of char. Um, this was never going to be an effusive reaction. But I tried to look at it objectively and not become the Grinch of said title. Um, this is a, a very theatrical performance, which is actually totally appropriate for the yeah. song. Um, it starts with this ominous guitar and we're already in panto season straight away. And then these deep accentuated vocals, which set the scene as a cautionary tale, 
with a huge side dish of humour. Um, the band do, you know, vamp their way through the song. And the rhythm section in particular give in plenty of flash, dash and splash. Um, but the vocalist really is the star turn. Um, his faux operatic touches, these characterised voices and, and the delivery. At parts, he's channeling Jim Carrey, very obviously. <laughs> and also Jack D's tenacious D persona at points as well yeah, yeah which does come from a place of genuine affection as well as parody this mock rock um i don't know the name of the singer obviously but he does have an excellent set of lungs on him um and uh it's just a shame he misuses them at times but anyway so this is totally suitable for a dr zeus you know tale set to music yeah. which is i'm a big fan of dr zeus Set to music is, in terms of Christmas films, a bridge too far for me. Uh, I'm one of the very, very few people in this world who probably preferred The Cat in the Hat. Um, <laughs> there you go. So that says a lot about me. Yeah. Um, uh, the, the heavy nature of the guitars at times made me think that this could be, quite easily, if you took away the lyrics, it could be the signature tune for a pole dancer called China with a Y. <laughs> Um, in, a, in a boisterous clubhouse just outside Albuquerque. <laughs> Although I've never been to these places, that's what I pictured. No, um, the yeah, it was it was fun. Um, and uh, I could imagine this being a huge favourite for many, many people. <laughs> just not me. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. And to be honest, like this, the, the musical genre that they're going for... Uh, isn't one that I like particularly gravitate towards. It's a little bit too like uh like it's hair rock. Song, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just but this is I I saw the humor in it. The the actual talent, I mean, the guy sounds phenomenal, his voice. Um, and it, it it's just it's interesting and it works. And it's it's just funny to me that they that they turned this into like this kind of, you know, Axel Rose, sludgy rocky kind of tune um and it just the first time i saw it it made me laugh that they took it this seriously but had fun with it even though they they took the production of it quite seriously um and it just yeah it made me smile and then um they're actually from like the town i grew up in so uh i i live in baltimore was born in baltimore but i was raised just over to the line in pennsylvania in an area called york pennsylvania um and that is where these guys are from and uh, they consist of Phil Freeman on bass and lead vocals, Ben Giles on guitar and vocals, uh, and Johnny Ross on drums and vocals. Uh, they're a power rock trio from York, Pennsylvania, and they got together in 2011 during their time at a small university called Lebanon Valley College. And they draw inspiration from newer wave, uh, a newer wave of rock bands such as Highly Suspect and Royal Blood, as well as legends such as the Foo Fighters, Audio Slave, and Deep Purple. Uh, they've managed to mix talent with business savvy and promotional chops to get on the radar of millions of people. And over the Christmas of 2018, their video for their cover of You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch went viral on the internet with over 60 million views on Facebook and 9.3 million views on YouTube. Uh, and this would lead to charting on various billboard charts, including the holiday digital song sales, rock digital song sales, emerging artists, and reaching number five on the next big sound chart. Uh, the song also reached number tunes on the iTunes rock chart, only being surpassed by Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. So this is quite a thing they stumbled into uh, that kind of took off like wildfire. And it just makes me laugh. Uh, because of just the, the the comical nature of it all and taking this on. I'm, I'm a, a Seuss kid. You know, I grew up in the 80s, always had Dr. Seuss around and and the old cartoons and stuff. And uh, so this just, I don't know, hit home with me and made me laugh. And I thought, I wonder what John would think of this. So to get into the lyrics. Thanks so much. Yeah, well, you know, it's the least I could do, John. It's the giving season after all. Yeah. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus and as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. 
Just face the music. You're a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your heart is an empty hole. Your brain is full of spiders. You've got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pole. You're a vile one, Mr. Grinch. You've got termites in your smile. You have all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Grinch. Well, given the choice between the two, I would take the seasick crocodile. You're a foul one, Mr. Grinch. You're a nasty, wasty skunk. Your heart is full of unwashed socks and your soul is full of gunk, Mr. Grinch. The three best words I would use to describe you are as follows, and I quote, stink, stank, stunk. So, there you have it. A song we're all familiar with. Just a different spin on it and in a different light. Uh, and thanks so much for suffering it uh, for my enjoyment and hopefully uh, those out there in the listening audience. Um, everybody out there, all seriousness, we hope you guys have a really very Merry Christmas. Enjoy your Christmas Eve. I hope tomorrow brings you everything you want. Time with those you love. Probably some you don't, but have to endure. Uh, and we hope you make it out on the other side. Uh, we really do appreciate you guys for joining us uh, this past uh, year here, just about, on the audio files. And we look forward to, uh, to a 2024 with more songs because, as we know, the tunes are out there. So like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, enjoy your time with your family. And John and I will see all y'all on the next episode of the audio files. Merry Christmas, y'all. <laughs>